Welcome to Copenhagen. I'm Marie Kostrup. I manage the city's uh, bicycle program. Behind us we see the Kissing Bridge, which is the newest addition to a series of uh, bicycle and pedestrian bridges we've built over the last years in Copenhagen. In Copenhagen, 41% of all trips to work and study is done by bike. So the bicycles are really an integral part of uh, everyday transportation in Copenhagen. When we build bike bridges like this that only has access for pedestrians and cyclists, we create these unique shortcuts that makes cyclists and pedestrians save travel time but also gives them a very pleasant experience because you don't have to ride right next to a lot of cars and buses and trucks. we have the Kissing Bridge or the Inner Harbour Bridge. It was opened only a couple of weeks ago after many years of construction and also quite a lot of construction problems. So everyone has been anticipating this moment where you can actually cross the harbour as a cyclist or a pedestrian on Knibbles Bridge, which is a bridge further down that way across the harbour. We have now 43,600 cyclists a day, which is great. We love it but it also creates a lot of congestion on the bicycle tracks. So in order for us to relieve some of the pressure on the bridges, we have installed this new uh, kissing bridge, which gives a new access across the, the inner harbor. So what you see here is uh, the Tankaus bridge opening up for sailing boats going across the smaller canals to the side of the inner harbor in Copenhagen. We have quite a lot of sailing boats coming in and out and we want to keep that very particular part of Copenhagen alive. This particular bridge consists of three parts because it connects three different canals. And so right now two of them are open in order for the sailing boats to go in and out. It connects the neighborhoods in Christianshavn and Refshaleøen with the inner city and is a very attractive connection for people who commute or have to go across the city. So this bridge is called the Circle Bridge. It was uh, opened in 2015 and it's designed by the Danish Icelandic artist uh, Olaf Eliasson. The design is meant to resemble ship masts as a reference to the industrial past of the Inner Harbor in Copenhagen. We have 2,600 cyclists on an average weekday and uh, 1,600 pedestrians. Before this bridge, in order to uh, get to the other side and to the rest of the, of the Harbor Circle, you had to go all the way around down here. So now we have a very direct access uh, right next to the waterfront for both cyclists and pedestrians. So this bridge is the Brygge Bridge. It was one of the first bicycle bridges that we built 10 years ago in 2006 in Copenhagen. It combines the neighborhoods of Islands Brygge and Vesterbro and is a very attractive shortcut across the harbor for pedestrians and cyclists. Originally we thought that maybe 3,000 cyclists a day would use the bridge, but today it's 16,000 cyclists on an average weekday. of the cycle serpent or the bicycle snake as it's called which is uh, an additional bicycle bridge before to reach the Brygge bridge you had to carry your bicycle up and down a quite steep flight of stairs and that was really bothersome so we wanted to make a more direct connection to the Brygge bridge and the rest of the city and that was why we proposed the, the cycle serpent originally it was a very boring ramp going along the building over here. And then the architects were challenging us saying, shouldn't we go for something more ambitious, something more uh, aesthetic? And then they proposed the Cycle Serpent and we immediately fell in love with it and we haven't looked back since.
So what we have here is uh, the Obun, which was also one of the first uh, cycling and pedestrian bridges that we've built. It doesn't go across water, it goes across a very busy street with a lot of motorized traffic. So instead what we've done is to build this direct connection across the very motorized street underneath for pedestrians and cyclists. And it's just, you feel like you're in another world. You can look down at all the cars and you can be like, I'm much better up here. Yeah.